Empty the waste tank by unscrewing the lid. You can rest the probe on some tissue paper or use the holder. Then dispose of the contents according to your risk assessment for that material. You may wish to add a decontamination reagent to the empty tank, such as bleach. Finally, screw the lid back on. To fill the sheath container, unscrew the lid and add Cytoflex sheath fluid before screwing the lid back on. Turn on the machine by pressing the button which is located at the rear of the machine. Turn on the PC and launch the Site Expert software and log in. Run the system startup program and follow the on screen prompts to first initialize and then run a tube of deionized water. You may wish to run QC beads. To do this, click QC standardization and start the daily QC following the on screen prompts to load the daily QC beads. Once the machine has passed the daily QC, you can proceed to your experiment. To start from scratch, press New Experiment, or if you already have a template, then press New Experiment from Template. Create a forward and side scatter dot plot. If you wish, you can turn off the detectors not being used in the set channel window and also add a label. Apply this to all tubes. Name the first sample and check the acquisition settings. You may have some gain settings you wish to import. If not, start from the default gains. Create the required dot plots and histograms for your analysis. I'm going to start by running some of my fully stained sample by pressing run. Have the sample flow rate set to slow or medium to preserve your sample while making adjustments. On the forward and side scatter plot, adjust the scale here by right clicking and choosing property and then by selecting auto for both axes. Gate the cells of interest using a polygon gate and apply this gate as required to all of your plots. You can see at the moment the populations are difficult to resolve and that is because we haven't applied any compensation. If you have a saved compensation, you can apply it here, or you can create a new compensation matrix. To do this, save the experiment for later and click File, New Compensation. Choose the correct channels and whether the single color controls are cells or compensation beads. In turn, click on each tube and record events from your unstained control and each of your single color controls, making sure the cells are gated in forward and side scatter and the positive fluorescent gate goes around the positively stained events. In settings, choose compensation calculation. You can then save the compensation matrix into the library in the software or to a file.
We're now ready to go back to our stain sample by pressing Open Experiment and save the compensation experiment when prompted. Here, I'm going to create a new tube, and with that tube selected, we can go into the compensation matrix, into the library, and choose the compensation that we just created. You are prompted with some import options of whether you want to import the matrix alone, or with the gain from the compensation file, or whether you want to correct the compensation to the gains used in your experiment. If you had previously adjusted the gains in your experiment, then choose Import Compensation and Convert Based on Current Gains. Here, we're going to use the matrix gains. You are now ready to record your sample. On the left, choose events to record, time and volume, and adjust the flow rate as required. Press record. We now have compensated data, and you can see the difference if I flick back to the sample we ran before compensation. However, in this example, you can see some of the data is squashed along the axis. And it looks like we have some overcompensation. To apply a manual change to the compensation, open the compensation window. Here we can see that the PE spill into FITC has been overcorrected at 10.37%. Try reducing the percentage down, here all the way to 1%. If you wish to get this as accurate as possible, in this example we would correct it until the FITC signal was equivalent in the PE positive and PE negative populations. You can now apply gates appropriate to your data and display the statistics that you require. Right click, choose statistic settings to determine which values are displayed. You often want volume, median of your fluorescent channels, and the percentage parent. Statistics can be directly exported by right-clicking on the table and pressing Export to CSV. All results can be saved directly to PDF through the Print menu. Once finished, clean the machine by running the daily clean and following the on-screen prompts to run a tube of cleaning fluid, such as FlowClean or bleach, and then a tube of deionized water. Once finished, you can either log out and leave the machine on for another user, or to turn it off, simply close the software, turn off the Cytoflex machine using the button at the back of the machine, and close down the PC. Check the machine is in the correct mode on the bottom right of the software. If you're using tubes, the machine should be in semi-automatic mode, but if you're using plates, then it should be in plate mode. We want to switch to plate mode here, so go to the cytometer menu and choose the correct mode. The machine should be switched off at the power button at the back and then powered back on a few seconds later. 
Remember to change the switch at the front. Set it to T for tube, or here move it to P for plates. Once you're ready, click cytometer and choose system startup program and load the plate or tube as directed by the software. When using plates, you can define which wells contain deionized water and press start. It will take roughly eight minutes to run the startup program. So here we're going to do a new experiment in plate format. So first I'm going to choose the plate type and you can choose the orientation. If you're running tubes, then simply click on new tube. You can then define the plate by selecting wells and naming them or adding common prefixes such as the single stain controls here. The acquisition settings loaded as default are controlled by the administrator of your machine and typically cover a very large range of samples. If you're doing small particle analysis or very bright stains, you may need to adjust these settings and you should do so by pre-running appropriate negative and positive controls. Saved acquisition settings can be loaded at this point. You can adjust the mix and back flush settings. Larger cells tend to require a longer mix time and the longer the back flush time, the lower well-to-well -well carryover there will be. Also consider the stopping conditions. You may wish to set a time or volume alongside your cell number, and these can be different for individual wells. Once you're happy, press OK, and you will see a list of the wells on the left-hand side. You can now choose to either click on individual wells and press record or press the auto record button to run all the wells. Okay, let's examine the data. Here you can see along the top ribbon are options for different plot types. You can create various different versions of dot and density plots as well as histograms. Start by creating a forward versus side scatter plot. And here I'm going to gate the cells of interest using a polygon gate. Note that your cells may be off scale. If they are, drag them on using the hand tool or by right clicking on the plot and choosing property and either press auto or manually enter a data range. You can then go ahead and create appropriate dot plots and histograms and apply gating as required. So remember, at the moment, we haven't applied any compensation. If the compensation has already been calculated, then it can be loaded by pressing the compensation matrix button and either choosing to import from file or library. Here, I'm importing a compensation from the library. Press OK and the software will ask you if you want to adjust the compensation to correct for any differences in the gain settings between today's experiment and when the compensation was created. You almost always want to choose this option, so press OK. We can now see the populations are nicely resolved once compensation is applied, and we can finish by displaying some basic statistics. Click the statistics button, edit the statistics you want by right clicking on the table and choosing statistics settings. You may wish to know the time and the volume ran, and then you can choose the statistics that you want. Almost always you will want the percentage of parents and the median of the parameters acquired. Tick the all tubes checkbox at the bottom and press OK. The software automatically saves the FCS files into the same folder as the experiment was created. You can also export PDFs of the data through the print menu, and if you right-click on the statistics table, you can export all results as a CSV file. To clean the machine after use, click Cytometer and Daily Clean. Follow the on-screen instructions to load a plate with wells of cleaning solution and water. 
As before, the position of these can be adjusted as required. Once finished, you can either log out and leave the machine on for another user, or to turn off, simply close the software. Turn the Cytoflex machine off using the button at the back of the machine and close the PC down. 